In this video, I'll be talking about the stroke width setting in the Easy Composites Layout Designer. The stroke width will set up the um, width of the border around your image. And there's six different levels. There's razor, fine, narrow, normal, wide, and extra wide. And so here's an example of normal. Here is a razor. Here is extra wide. And I did not give an exact number you could type in. And I thought that made it a lot simpler. And the reason why is because this is proportional to your image size or to your canvas size. So for example, here is normal with a 16 by 20 image. Here is normal with an eight by 10 image, but you can see that the border looks the same with respect to the size of the image. So if we look at the 16 by 20 image that has a normal border and let's um, go into the border here and we can see that it's using a stroke width of 12 and that's for the 16 by 20 with the normal. But if we go to the eight by 10 with a normal where it proportionally looks the same to your overall canvas size, This should be half a 12, but let's see if it is. Yeah, and so that's six pixels. So I, I thought it would be confusing to people to know if they're making it 20 by 16, they would need to use twice the amount of stroke width as in if they were making an eight by 10 to get the same exact look to it. So that's why I just decided that most people don't like math. And so let's just make it so you have six different levels to choose from. That's pretty much it. Other than I will point out, I guess, that the stroke width is proportional to your um, canvas size and not proportional to your image size. So if you were making, um, I don't know, a large image with a whole bunch of rows, like 240 on one, let's hit the Create Preview here. So let's say we were making something like this. Um, let's let's put the spacing define here real quick. Let's just actually pretend we're really gonna make one. Okay, so let's say you're making something like this and you were using the stroke width of normal. Let's hit create layout. You can see how large the stroke width, width looks proportional to your image. So let me abort this here. So if you're making to where your image sizes are gonna be smaller, you're putting a lot of them on the template, you'll generally want to reduce that stroke width um, down. I'll put it to razor here. Now you can see it looks much better. So if you're making just a few images and making them larger on the template, you might want to increase the stroke width. But if you're making a bunch of small images on a template, try reducing that and just play around with it and you'll get a feel for the look that you like.